All right, I got the LJ up on jack stands, sitting up in the air with all the tires off. And I'm gonna start some brakes. I got a couple kits from Power Stop. This is the rear. The front it hasn't showed up yet, but it's supposed to be here tomorrow. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rear. We've got new pads, brand new calipers, two new rotors, and I've got some extended uh, stainless brake lines. These are from Rough Country, but I've used them on several Jeeps and they're perfectly fine. So I'm gonna use them on the LJ too. So I'm gonna get started in the rear. I'll probably do calipers and pads and rotors first and then just start moving my way forward. You know those little clips that come on right here from the factory with a brand new rotor? I took those off of this rotor when I bought this Jeep. This Jeep has 240,000 miles. I'm wondering if these are the original rotors. They say Bosch on them. They're very, very rusty. And they had the little retainer clips on them. Why would, why would you put the retainer clips back on if you change your rotor? I don't know. I'm wondering. Hit that with some rust reformer, make those brackets, you know, those backing plates look a little better. We'll give that a minute to dry.
See if I can get this brake line changed without getting myself covered in brake fluid. There we go. Ooh, that was on there. All right, I finished up the rear last night and I gravity bled them as best I can. Uh, it's the next morning and my fronts showed up. So I'm gonna get these knocked out and then I will bleed them and take it for a test. Up. 
All right, all the brakes are bled. Everything's good. Got a lot of air out. Had one leak at the banjo block on the rear axle. Tighten up. <coughs> Tighten up the fitting just a little bit, and now it's fine. So, put the wheels and tires on it, and go set or bed the pads in. See how it feels. All right, brakes are bedded in. I got up to like, you know, 35, 40, whatever. Hit the brake real hard. Came to five mile an hour roll. Let off, started going again, 35, 40. Hit the brakes real hard. Came to a five mile an hour roll, etc. Got the brakes really hot, could smell them. Drove around the block a couple times, cooled them off, parked it. But on the way home, when I was taking it easy, I could tell the brakes were way better than they were before. So that's good. I wanted to get the brakes sorted out before I put 35s on it. So I'm going to let it cool off for about an hour, and then I'll go drive it some more and check it again. But I think in the meantime, i got a couple hours before bed. I'm going to start the re-gear on the 30. <laughs> 